today I am going to be working with some of my eco prints that I have been making recently. I'm just fascinated with this and I just love doing this. This one has been soaked in a iron vinegar water solution and then steamed for one hour and I also had vinegar sprayed on the paper. I wanted vague um, faint prints. I can get better prints if I want. I mean I can get dark prints. See these are some of my darker prints here but what I'm going for here is stationary so I wanted some light prints and this is a gorgeous oak leaf right here so this one really doesn't need anything else but maybe an envelope to go with it I'll just fold that in half and that would be the front of the card I'm thinking about maybe writing a word or something onto the front of the card but I also just kinda like it like it is so anyway I have a cream colored envelope and I have put a piece of kitchen wax paper into the envelope to hopefully keep the ink from seeping through to the front because I've been having a little bit of problem with that as you can see some of the little bit of color there that you can see seeps through this is one of my envelopes that I did you also have to be careful and I'm glad I picked that up when I did the um, glue if it gets moist from the ink it will stick so you have to make sure that you go through and loosen those envelope flaps up this is one that I made with a little bit of rust reaction so when I steamed it um, it the edges here were touching a rusted tray which my stack of papers sits on totally by accident didn't plan it that way but love how it looks so that's the page right there and as you can see the inside is not very good it's just kind of vague and just lightly printed but that's what I want to write on I don't want anything really dark and heavy so how do I do that start with my envelope okay set that aside your next thing is a leaf when you're printing on the leaves you don't want to use the front side because that's less defined you actually want to print the back side I'm also using today my Higgins ink okay this one is just in a brown and this one is fade proof and I'm going to take a little bit of my ink and I'm just going to put it right there on the leaf and then a small brush and a little bit of water that I added to the brush and I'm just going to spread that ink out and I am working on wax paper so I don't have to worry about making a mess underneath you want to make sure that you're spreading your inks all the way out to the edges of the leaves this is a great craft for kids they'd have a ball doing this it's a little messy as you can see from my finger there where I have ink all on me so anyway there you go it's all done it's all covered I'm going to lift that up and just move my wax paper to the side and take my envelope and oops, turn my leaf over and I'm just going to lay it diagonally down like so I'll hold that down for a second while I grab my paper towel and I just lay my paper towel right on top and I use a paper towel because sometimes the ink has seeped over onto the front of the leaf and I don't want to be pressing especially if I have ink on my hands onto the paper here and making a mess so that and then the big reveal voila there you go you have a matching stationary set so this one will go together like so and make sure you lift that flap up because it's a little damp and then because the wax paper is in there I don't have any ink seeping through my envelope just have to make sure I remove that and we're done very simple easy fall project to do you can decorate the front of your envelopes like I did on this one here or you can just leave them plain your kids you everybody will have a lot of fun this fall collecting leaves and making your own stationery to send as a gift so remember put in the hashtag love fall art into the YouTube search box
and it will bring up all sorts of artists who are doing fall projects, hundreds of projects to choose from. You will not be bored, and you will have lots of things to do this fall. Talk to you later. Y'all have a great day. Bye now.